Hi everyone, um, uh, I'm Oliver. Who is a fan of Flow? Who likes Flow? Oh, a few, quite a few. That, that's great. So, who is interested in Flow and has no idea about Flow? So that's perfect. So, um, because it's late and you probably already had a few beers, I posted all of that stuff and even more on Twitter. And React Europe were so kind to repost it, to retweet it, and also Flow retweeted them. So if, if you don't get all of it or want more, then, uh, well, just look at Twitter. So um, what is Flow? So we heard a few talks about Flow already. But I think if you're new to Flow, it's very hard to understand what it actually is. And the important parts, I highlight it in red. So it's a static type checker, and it's supposed to find errors in your JavaScript application. So it's something that works on JavaScript, and it checks your JavaScript. That means it is not a compiler. That makes it very different from TypeScript, for example. TypeScript compiles Java, uh, sorry, TypeScript to JavaScript, but Flow does not. So it's just a checker. So then it's a type checker. That means it uses types to check what you have. Uh, that makes it different from JSLint or JSHint or ESLint. And then it's static, which means it runs before uh, before you actually run your code. So it runs while, while you're developing the code. So just to give you a few examples, like very quick examples. So first example is it, f it can infer types to check your code. So in line one, you, you see that in element, I have, uh, uh, I have a string, and I'm trying to render that string. Uh, what do you think will happen? Does it work? No, it doesn't work. Of course not. Because uh, what you actually have to do is you have to provide a React element, but you have not. So you would actually notice once you run that program, but in this case, a flow tells you. It tells you you're providing a string, but you're supposed to provide a React element. OK, that's very simple. Uh, please notice that I did not provide any type information here. But as Jeff mentioned yesterday, it's that flow actually infers the type, that this is a string. That's very easy. So next up. So if you actually provide type annotations, it can do much more for you. So in that case, in line one, I have a React component, and I supplied two types here props and state, right on the right side of the line. And um, how does a type like this look like? So state is a type, and it tells me this thing, that object that I'm supposed to, to, to handle as state, it has one property, greeting, and that greeting is of type string. And then if I do something like this, I mean, in the constructor, I'm initializing the state, then if I pass in a greeting, I have to make very sure that this thing that I'm passing in there is actually of type string. And as you can see, I'm getting the uh, greeting property from the props, and uh, this is how the props look like. And that looks like same thing. So I have a greeting field, and it's of type string. And as I mentioned in the comments there, line two and three, if I had supplied something else like Boolean, uh, actually Flow would have, would have uh, issued an error there. So this is a little bit like prop types and serifs. Who knows what prop types are? OK, who does not know who prop types, what prop types are? Oh, you don't know. So prop types is, is, is something like a dynamic thing for uh, defining how properties, like props, are supposed to look like. And this is like better, from my perspective, because it's, it's a compiler time, at development time. There also is a Babel plugin that can generate prop types from, from that type information. OK. Um, just as a teaser, I also did some stuff, and I posted on, on Twitter how to use that stuff on Redux. And in this case, on Redux Actions, I have an action creator. Um, and that action creator, it returns a greeting action. It gets a string as a, a parameter. And a greeting action, it looks like this. It has two properties, an action type, which might either be a string update greeting or reset greeting. Uh, and it also has a payload, which is a string, but the question mark uh, in line three there in front of the string, it tells you that it is optional. It may be zero or undefined. And you have to specify that in, in Flow. That's also different from TypeScript. And to finish this up, this is a valid thing to return because action type is of 
uh, is of string update greeting. If you provided anything else, that would be an error. So uh, as property, I provide the greeting, and there you go. And in essence, this thing actually changed the way I write React code, and it changed the way I write Redux code. Because a lot of those, 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 those styles that I used to write JavaScript, and they're not natural to me anymore, because now I have type information. And it also gives you uh, refactoring, code completion, at least in, in WebStorm, maybe also in Nuclide. I haven't, I haven't tried it. And eventually, um, it catches error before you even start your app, which might be beneficial as well. OK, that's it. Thank you.